Hi everybody, it's been a wild year putting together realestatedecoded.com. Ton of research, ton of design, but it's really fun going back now and looking at the top posts. I went into Google Analytics and picked out the most read posts in 2015 on realestatedecoded.com. Here they are. How FISBO sellers can outsmart real estate agents. Real estate agents are famous for calling people who are selling their homes themselves for sale by owners or FISBOs. And they can be really annoying if you don't want those calls. Some sellers do want them, most do not. And a way to get around that is a trick that people use on Craigslist. There's services where you can get a, what they call a burner phone number. It's a phone number that rings on your own phone, but you can tell it's coming from, and you can let it roll over to voicemail if you want. So, how accurate is the movie The Big Short? I love The Big Short, just amazing. And I had a great interview with my friend, Tony Sanders, Dr. Anthony Sanders, who is a finance professor, economics professor at George Mason University in Virginia. So he was, he knows, knows that area very well. He's a specialist in real estate finance. It was really a fun, fun interview. And it's only been on a couple of weeks and it's uh, already one of my biggest read posts. Thanks, Tony. Appreciate it. <laughs> How to cancel a contract to sell your home. Occasionally I'll get calls from somebody selling their home. They have a real estate agent and they decide they don't want to sell the home. They're in a panic. And at that time, they're kind of uh, uh, communications between them and their real estate agent are terrible <laughs> or completely cut off. Uh, but I wanted to put a post together for those people uh, just on the basics of that. And it's tough. You really don't have a lot of options. A lot of people who are sellers confuse it when they bought a home because when they bought a home, it was very easy to cancel a contract. There's lots of different ways a buyer can cancel a contract. But it, particularly if it's the first time you ever sold a home, you may not know that you don't have really maybe no options to cancel a contract. So all the details are in that post. Check it out. The number three most read post in 2015 was my Zillow accuracy charts. I'd done a post going a deep dive into Zillow accuracy and I decided to make a chart. And it's real simple, it's just Zillow is very good at giving their, how accurate their, their estimates, their Zestimates are on home values in different markets. So you just take the yes, Zestimate for Denver, for example, get the median price for Denver, and then you can get, instead of the percentage error, the typical percentage error, you get the typical dollar error. Number two, do real estate agents really sell homes for 13% more? This was my first really big deep dive post. I went totally geeky on it. I brought out all my economics love to go into the problem and figure out what is really going on when people say, when the National Association of Realtors says their real estate agents sell, or realtors is what they say, sell homes for 13% more than people who sell them themselves without using a real estate agent. And the number one most read post in 2015 on realestatedecoded.com was Zillow's typical error is $17,860. And that could be 17,000 too high or 17,000 too low, you don't know. And half the time it's more than $17,860. So I guess I've spoiled the, the lead on that story. <laughs> But if you want the details, check it out. And if you haven't already, please go to realestatedecoded.com and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Take care.